Hi, it's Mr. Herman with another video. This time we're going to be talking about scatter plots, lines of best fit. This is that video I talked to you about that I'd be doing uh, within this week, hopefully, and I didn't get to it until today. It is Friday, but now we get a chance to start it. So, how this is going to work is we already have scatter plots here, four different ones. You, this handout is right above this video on the website. You can print the handout and then go ahead and make the scatter plots from there. We're going to look at making four lines of best fit and then make a prediction for probably three of these. If we have time, we'll see how long the video lasts. In class, you might remember me talking about these pieces of plastic that we're going to use. Uh, I'm going to let you use these in the test if you want, and even on review activities in class, to draw the line of best fit. And again, the reasoning behind that is it's easier to see. Uh, it's much easier to see the um, line, uh, the points on both sides of the line here. So that should hopefully be pretty clear as we go through. Notice I can see both sides. With a ruler, if you use a ruler, I don't happen to have one handy, but even if I use a a piece of paper, oh, here's a ruler right here. So if I use a ruler, I'm covering up half the points and I can actually see what's on the other side. Whereas here I can see what's on the other side and you can view it. So hopefully that makes it more clear. And you can look at this as you're doing it. Again, use the same one, pause it in between. And if you pause it in between, you'll see that you can use the, uh, uh, try to make your line best fit and then we'll see how it fits, okay? So we're gonna start this first one with noticing there's definitely a positive correlation here between beach visitors, uh, sorry, between visitors and the temperature. It seems like the warmer it is, the more visitors you get. So based on that, we're going to definitely want to go up in this direction here, okay? And it seems like if I try and make my line, I've got, uh, let's see, do this, 11 points here. So if i got 11 points, I want to try to get roughly five on each side, maybe go through one. So let's see what I end up with there. If I do that, look, at, here's a spot I can go through right here. This would be all right. Kind of hard to see exactly what that's going through, but you can maybe see it there on the video. Hopefully you can. There's a big glare I see, but at least that kind of shows the edge better. So if you look at it like this, you'll notice that I've got one, two, three, four here. And I, I said I wanted like five on each side. So I'm going to move it up a little bit probably. So I might even tilt a little bit, maybe like this. Let's see what this does now if I go like this. Here I'm going through, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five. Let me see if I put it like this. And then one, two, three, four, five. It's kind of going through this one. So I'm going to make it right through here. That seems to me like a pretty good place to make the line. Oops, didn't stick so good. There we go, now it's straight, okay. Make, always remember to make it straight and use a straight edge. I kind of messed up a little bit there. You can you can see how that worked, there you go. Now I'm going through this point right here and it looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five. Now you wanna measure the distances. Remember we talked about that? So for example, try to find one to match up. Um, this one's kind of far away at a 90 degree angle. Remember the 90 degree angle we used there? kind of far away, but we could actually say that it's like two of them, like this one and maybe this one added together. And then I've got this one, which kind of matches this one. And then I could say that maybe that these three together combined distance is close to this one. It's not exact, but it's certainly at least you're trying to make a distance. Again, what we're trying to do is take the lines on this side, one, two, three, four, these little ones, and they would measure the same if I added up these, this one, and these three. And again, it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty close. Now let's make a prediction. The prediction is going to be for on a 90 degree day. You remember the prediction is usually given for something that we don't have. So on 90 degree day, day we go with this. 88 to 92, 90 is right here. So I'm going to take and go up and hit the line from 90 degrees. 90 is right here. And then go over from there until it hits the Y axis like this. And that gives me, it looks like around, well, what is there between these each? There's 75 between each of these. So if I hit here, it looks like about, to me, half a 75. So take maybe 30, uh, take half a 75, which is 30, uh, 3750, and add 3750 to 30, to 375. So what would that be? It's around 400, 405. So my guess would be that's about, would be about 405. It's kind of hard to tell here what it would be. You can see where yours lines up and try to make an estimate based on that too. Let's try another one now. Let's do this one right next to it here. This one says hours of sleep and test scores. So it looks again like a positive correlation. Notice that you have them going up as they go to the right, which means that the more sleep you get, the better grades you get. We talked about this in class as being one of the types of correlations you can have. On this one, I got lots more points though. So let's count these. Looks like I have 20. So I only got about 10 on each side. So let's see if we can do that with our, using our straight edge here. See what we get here, putting it up there. So I can try and go like this. 
let's see if this gets me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and maybe if I'm going through this one, it's 11, that's a little bit high. Let me move it down a little bit more. How about here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's not bad. Seems like it'd be 11 on the other side, but it's kind of hitting this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is pretty close. And there's the line for that one. And from here now, I can see that, uh, let's try to check our measurements here and see. Try to match them up. So I've got, let's see, this one matches up with this one pretty good. This far one is probably right here. I've got this one and that one close, not exact, but close. Maybe this one and this one, this one and this one, this one and this one. So I've got these two left. Not bad, pretty close. I think I'll go with that. So from here now, I want to make another prediction again. So this time we're going to make a prediction for, how about, let's go with up on this side, on the y-axis. So let's say I have 95%, and I want to use 95% as a test score, and I want to make a prediction with that for how many hours of sleep you'd get. So I'll take the 95 with my ruler, and I'll go over until I hit the line.